The Evergreen Youth Conference made a return to the Sanford Center in Bemidji, and this year more than 400 people are expected to attend. Our Sherelle Moore took a look, took a look at day one. We like to host this in Bemidji because um, I think for a lot of people in this line of work, they often go to Minneapolis or they often go to a place like St. Cloud for something like this, and it gives them an opportunity to see a different part of the state. The 13th annual Evergreen Conference starts today with a packed house of professionals eager to learn about more ways to help our youth. What we try to do is reach um, across the state and, and even outside of the state of Minnesota to uh, individuals and agencies who work with youth and families. Uh, that type of work is becoming, it's always been in, in, in a big need, but it's becoming more and more complicated by lots of different issues, one of which would be like the opioid uh, epidemic. This year's keynote speaker was Ken Winters. He spoke about the effects of marijuana usage in teens. I focused on three things. One is on uh, the potential to get addicted to the drug, which looks to be elevated if you start using as a teenager. Second impact was on cognitive functioning, particularly memory and, and um, general intelligence. And the third was mental health and how the importance of uh, staying away from marijuana if uh, you already are at risk for a mental illness. This year there are more than 20 booths from agencies all over the state, not to mention breakout sessions. The Evergreen Conference wrapped day one up at five today, but the event will be back tomorrow. The planning process for this event is, is a, it's a full year process, so as soon as this one's done we'll start talking about how it's going to look for next year. Reporting of Bemidji, Shrell Moore, Lakeland News. The conference will start back up again tomorrow morning beginning at 9 a.m. If you enjoyed this segment of Lakeland News, please consider making a tax-deductible contribution to Lakeland PBS.